We're going to be looking at decimals and decimal place values in this example. So let's take each of the parts of the problem here, each of the decimal numbers, and start by putting them on the table. Then we want to indicate what place value does the digit 4 occupy in each number. So this first number, 324,231 and 1,700 hundredths, we are going to place in our table starting with the three here. So three, two, four, two, three, one. And I'm going to go ahead and put another decimal point here, just emphasizing the one above, and then one, seven. And my four is here, and my four in this number is in the thousands place. So it's in a whole number place. The second number, 256, and 134 thousandths we're going to place in our chart. So 256.134 and circling the 4 in this case, the 4 is in the thousandths place. So note the difference between the thousandths place to the right of the decimal and the thousands place to the left of the decimal. The third number, four hundredths, is in the table as 0 0.04. So here's the four, and the four is in the hundredths place. Notice also we have 0 0.04 we can also write that as 0 0.04, but we often put this zero here just visually so that it doesn't look like something's missing here. The last number, one and four thousand six hundred seventy-one ten thousandths, we can place in the table as one decimal point four six, seven, one, and we're going to circle the four, and the four in this case is in the tenths place.